Okay, this is going to be the next video, and it has to do with scoring. So now we're going to assume, um, as we always do when we teach people how to score runs, that the visiting team is never going to be the one to score. So let's say in the top of the first, there was first pitch was one out, second pitch was two outs, third pitch was three outs. Now what we have to do is enter the score for the guest. So the way we do that is we hit guest score, and then if you can see this, it shows that it's the first inning. The G is for guest, and you see there's the plus sign right next to it. it means that now we're gonna enter the score for the guest. Since the, they scored zero runs, we put zero. And as you can see out in the outfield on the scoreboard, there is a zero now entered on the top of the first inning. Um, so let's now um, flip to the bottom of the first inning, and with La Cunada up, now we can start practicing entering scores. So let's say that uh, first batter is up, there is a ball, and so you can see now out in the scoreboard, the ball is entered, and let's say now the batter reaches base, so we hit reset, which now clears off the prior ball and now the next batter comes up the second batter and it's a home run so now what we have to do is enter home score and be careful about this because as you'll find out quickly if you make a mistake it's hard to uh, correct the mistakes that are made on the scoring column it is home score and you can see now it's showing that it's the first inning, so it's the bottom of the first. H is for home. And now since two runs have been scored on a two-run home run, we hit two. And now as you can see on the scoreboard, it's correctly entered two runs uh, in the scoreboard in the bottom of the first and also two runs out in the total column. Let's say now the next batter gets up and gets a base hit and then uh, next guy up gets a double and so another run scores so what we need to do again is go to the home score hit home score you can see now it's got the home score as two so now you don't you are going to be adding one to that so you just hit one and you can see now that it has added that run both in the bottom of the first inning and also over in the total column. So that's how you add runs. If now um, La Cunada doesn't score any additional runs and in the bottom of the second, they total, or bottom of the first, they totaled three total runs and then the third out was recorded without any more runs, we would hit, again, home score now there's no more runs added because as you can see again it's got first inning home three no more runs are scored by the end of the inning so we hit zero and now we have to go to the next inning so to flip to the second inning you go to the inning button you can see it's inning is indicated as one we're now going to the second inning so we don't hit two because that would add two innings it would flip us to the third inning so instead what you do is each time you're changing from the bottom of an inning to the top of the next inning is you just hit inning as we just did and then you just add one to it and you'll see now it's showing that it's the top of the second and we're ready to start scoring the top of the second just as we did the first. So that's the tutorial on scoring, on how to indicate runs. Um, and we'll now, in the next video, uh, move to hits and errors.